What's going on guys? Robbie the Photog here. You miss me. In this video, I'll be talking about how life is working on a cruise ship. It all might seem like fun and games, but the working hours are crazy. But you get to see the world. How cool is that? Those are just a few places I went to. You may be asking why I stopped working on a cruise ship. Well, there's a lot of factors in it. So I'm gonna start out this video by saying that if you wanna work on a cruise ship, it's a totally different experience. Go out there, try it out, see how it is for you, and don't just take my word for it. When you're working on a cruise ship, you're not getting away from where you work. On land, you go to work, you go home, you go hang out somewhere else. It's the same place. So it's working and staying on the same place, dealing with the same people every day, that's gonna be a little bit frustrating if you don't like a lot of people. If you're not a people's person, you need to try and figure out how to compromise and how to avoid confrontations. So living on a cruise ship is a totally different concept, I might say. I worked on a cruise ship for one year and three months on different ships, two ships to be precise. I'm not gonna mention the company I work for, because of uh, legal reasons and blah 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 I don't know some guys on YouTube say the company's name in their in their comment in their tag I don't know some people are just more bald than I am I'm afraid I, I, I don't want the wrath of that big company coming after me but like I said I worked for a company for a year and I was a photographer on board you get some nice benefits you work on a cruise ship take photos and you get a lot of time off in ports being a photographer, that's one of the perks you get. You don't get a day off, unfortunately, uh, unless you're like the top salesperson or you've done something amazing, then you get a day off, but it's usually just like half a day off or a few hours off. But it is amazing working there. You're gonna be working long hours. You're gonna be doing things, meeting new people, going to new countries that you've never dreamt of being before. Like I said, go out there, try it out. If it's your thing, you can go up in the ranks and become the captain or the Starfleet officer or something, I don't know. But I worked in sales and I was a photographer on a cruise ship. And basically that means I was taking pictures of the guests and annoying them all the time. That is the fun part of being a photographer. I shot photos, professional portraits and uh, sold them to the, to the clients, not to the clients, to the guests. So I, uh, I was basically, in the sales department and we had to reach a target every cruise and uh, every cruise was a different target depending on how long the cruise is and the demographic of the people on the ship as well so let's jump into the reasons why I left that company and went to another company I wasn't quite impressed by the way management dealt with everything uh, I guess it's all about the pressure of getting the numbers and making target I understand that but that does not excuse you uh, from treating people in a ethical manner and treating people equally all the time. You don't have one supervisor for your whole contract. Supervisors usually change in four months or two months and everyone has their own managing style. So once you start getting used to one guy, the next guy comes along and then changes everything. So it's basically trying to adapt over and over and over again. Some people you might get along with, some people you try to get along with, but you don't actually, there's something that I don't know. My first reason why I left was management was horrible. I did not like most of the people I worked with just because of horrible management skills. I am not a manager, but I do understand a few things about working as a team and working in a close environment like that. The manager has the right to be friends with anyone they want to be. But if that kind of goes over to the point where their professional life and their personal kind of relationship with that person uh, kind of blurs, I can't deal with that. Because that's, that's, not, that's not how you're supposed to act in a professional workspace. The first time you see something happening like favoritism or your boss being more lenient to uh, what's happening if someone comes late or someone comes does that or does that and no repercussions are being met to that person 
that is a red flag number one. That's what I noticed working on the ship I was on right now. Management tends to jump onto the person that makes them the, lo the most money. That is true across most of the cruise ships and uh, that is something you'll have to deal with. You either try to be better than that person or you swallow your pride and just be that person down there. But for me, it was kind of a personal vendetta. I don't know. People just don't didn't like me. Uh, I am not good at sales. That is probably one of the reasons why they saw me as kind of the weak link of the team. I would say that that's not the way you rate someone when you're working in a situation where you're selling photos or mm, working in an, in, in an environment where you're supposed to provide quality and in quantity and also professionalism. Those things were not considered at all. You can take the crappiest photo and uh, still sell it. No one would care. You could take the best photos. The person you're taking the photos of can, could have the best experience of their lives with a photographer, but that is not considered considered as something that will make you either be promoted or just uh, have accolades or something from corporate corporate wants to see how much money you made how many sales you made and that's it that is one of the reasons I left and the other reason was not being treated equally so like I said the person with the highest sales is always the star person I don't know why all most of the managers work like this you're not supposed to be like this I suppose but you're supposed to motivate your team members in order to be like the person that is the star salesperson for some reason my manager did not like me because I did not bring in a lot of money I tried the best I could but that set aside I was an amazing photographer you can check out my work my website all over the place no doubt about that I'm not trying to toot my own horn but I took great photos even my team members said I took great photos most of the pictures that were sold were mine. Hala. <laughs> Again, I'm not trying to brag. That does not matter. You can take the best photo. You can give uh, the guests the best experience ever. That does not matter. If your sales numbers don't speak for themselves, you're nothing. And the other reason, I don't know how many reasons I've jumped into so far, is the favoritism got to a point where I just decided to stop caring and just decide to finish my contract if you are not getting along with your supervisor that's it you're you're gonna have the most horrible contract of your life you can still go talk to them or be that person where you just like sit down and talk to the person but if they don't like you for any personal reason or something that's it you're gonna have a horrible contract they're gonna treat you like crap and they know that if you don't do your job you're gonna get like a warning or something number one is try and do your job to the best of your abilities you're there to work that's number one reason and there's no other reason you didn't go there to to fraternize and I mean you number one reason is you went there to work I understood that I tried to get my job to the best of the to, to the best of my abilities I did my job I didn't have any issue with the job quality and this and this and that. My only struggle was trying to sell. That's one of the problems I had. That was the only struggle I had. And uh, I was kind of the guy that was bottom of the list every time we had a revenue meeting. <laughs> so yeah, that sucked. And uh, I saw myself going nowhere in this company because you have to be friends with a supervisor in order to get good words, good comments to corporate. Uh, we're just going to decide if you get promoted. And uh, you had to be... Uh, number one in sales and that's the only way you get promoted so I didn't see myself going anywhere in this company by being that photographer that all the guests like people like me uh, I did I did a great job taking their pictures but that was not gonna get you anywhere they always say that eh, go and rate your crew member go rate this code they tell the guests to do those things but in actual fact these ratings go to corporate and they're like oh yeah that's a good job blah 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 but corporate does not care about those corporate cares about how much money you bring in and that's it I don't have any problem with anyone that likes working on a cruise ship it is amazing it's a different kind of lifestyle you travel for free you have uh, all the amenities and everything available for you and uh, basically you're seeing the world and uh, working on a, working so yeah there's uh, no offense to anyone that wants to work on a cruise ship it it's it, it is amazing go try it out like I said but uh, 
all these small things started to add up to me that I wasn't gonna go anywhere in this company. There was this one time I asked my supervisor, um, I'm gonna go on a shore excursion and uh, I'm gonna arrive a little bit later. Is it possible for me to get the later shift? And she straight up said no to me for whatever reason, I don't know. And a few weeks later, uh, my friend, which was also uh, one of the staff members there, was like, oh, we're in Newcastle, we're in, not Newcastle, we're in, we're in Queen's Ferry or something, somewhere in, somewhere in Scotland. And he said he wanted to go to Edinburgh and the excursion is going to be this long. Uh, can he be excused for this long and that's that long? And he, the manager said, yeah, you can go. And uh, I was on a shift with him. And I called the manager and asked him, so uh, this guy was supposed to come in at this time, where is he? Uh, my shift is about to end and he, someone needs to take over. Manager tells me, oh, uh, he didn't tell you about it. Uh, he's out on an excursion and I told him he can come back later. And I was like, wait, what? Really? So yeah, that was kind of the turning point where I was like, nope, this is not where I would like to work. This is a toxic environment. And the other thing is, once you have stuff happen, that in this is a scenario that I explained just a few seconds ago, once you have stuff like that happen, the whole team's team environment becomes toxic because people will not like each other because one person is being treated better than the other person. That's going to create a toxic environment and that's not going to work out well for the team members. You're the manager, you can do whatever you want to, you can set up a schedule, but once those two people don't like each other, productivity is going to go down and people are not going to be happy so I said nope I'm gonna leave and that was not the only scenario and that was not the only scenario uh, that happened on the ship with me I just I'm not gonna talk about all of those but a bunch of stuff happened to me and I just decided nope I'm gonna leave the ship and just get the hell out of this company because I'm not being valued here that's kind of the reasons why I left there are many other factors why I left but I'm not going to jump into those ones, just uh, head on over, go sign up to your cruise ship, enjoy and uh, see how it goes. You might enjoy it better, uh, you might work with better people, you might work with amazing people. Also a little disclaimer, if you recognize me from whatever cruise ship I worked on, don't tell the company that I made this video. But there's good news! I signed up for another one. Thank you for watching this video guys. I know this has been a video of me just complaining about working on a cruise ship, but like I said, it is fun. Number one, try and find something you enjoy. Uh, do that after work. Try and find something that will take your mind off of work and just uh, set you free. Take a PlayStation along. Uh, take a Xbox, who plays Xbox? Take a PlayStation along, uh, download a bunch of movies, uh, TV series, Netflix, try and find something that will keep your mind off of work because remember you're working in the same place and you're staying in the same place and you're working with the same people every day. That'll drive you crazy. Try and find something else to do. Thanks for watching this video guys. Hit the subscribe button if you like uh, if you like the video, which I doubt because it was just me complaining all the time. And uh, yeah, good news. I'm going to another ship and another company and uh, let's see how it goes. If you'd like to see those videos come up, hit the subscribe button and I'll keep you guys posted.